Hi, I'm the Clutter Expert. In this video, I'm going to help you identify what is clutter and what is not. I'm also going to tell you all about my four-way system for identifying clutter. And I will share how to use it to dispose of your clutter. How to actually get rid of clutter. Even if we actively want to get rid of our clutter, we can't always seem to get started. Something holds us back. We don't know where to start, or we're hampered by sentiment. Worried about offending people. Or afraid we might give away something useful. Or we've decided which possessions are clutter, but don't know the best way to dispose of them. If this describes you, watch this video to identify which of your possessions are clutter. And how to use my four-way system to actually get rid of your unwanted items. Start small. Anyone can feel overwhelmed by a whole room or a house full of clutter. So you should always start small. Take one drawer or one shelf and empty it. Then only put back the things which you use frequently or love. The rest clearly have a question mark over them, so could probably be got rid of. The things you're unsure about should go in a sealed box. If you haven't missed any of these items in six months, then the contents of the box are clutter. Take a chance. It's you or your clutter. You can't have space in your life and thousands of possessions you never use. Yes, it may be useful one day, but then again, it may not. Take a chance and get rid of the items you never use. How hard can it be? You take a risk every time you get in a car or cross the road. But you don't hesitate to do that. So how risky is it to get rid of something that might, but probably won't, be useful one day? Go on, be a devil and get rid of the things you never use. Think about the benefits. Think of the extra space you will gain. The space to move around. How impressed your friends and relatives will be at your tidy house and how easy it will be to do the housework if only you had less stuff. Is it worth losing all that space and freedom just to keep a load of dusty items that you will probably never use? Get organized with my four-way system. All of your clutter can be disposed of in any of four ways. Way one, give it to charity. Way two, put it into storage. Way 3. Trash it. Way 4. Sell it. Here's how it works. Keep a charity bag, two boxes and plenty of trash bags ready to hand. And when you come across something you don't use, deal with it right away. If it's a usable item but you never use it, then put it into the charity bag. If you don't use it all the time, but think it will be useful in the future, like seasonal decorations, then a box in the attic labelled storage is a good place for it. If it's broken or damaged, then it should go straight in the trash, as it's completely and utterly useless. Yes, I know, you've been keeping it for ages and tending to get it repaired. But let's face reality, if you haven't fixed it by now, you're never going to. So bin it right now. If you never use the item but it has value, place it in a box labelled sell and find a buyer. Giving to charity is great. Charity shops are a favourite haunt of mine, but not to buy of course. You don't want to replace one form of clutter with another, 
but to give. It's a win-win. Not only do you get rid of all the utterly useless objects filling up your house, but you benefit the charity and the person who buys it. Yes, there will actually be someone out there who will find your old junk useful. The volunteers who work there are usually very grateful and you go away puffed up with virtuous smugness. This is great for decluttering unsuitable gifts as you feel less guilty giving them to charity than throwing them away. How to trash it I love going to my local recycling centre. Seeing the big containers delivered by lorry, great piles of old computers, TVs and sofas. Seeing people unloading sheets of glass, doors, fish tanks, old mattresses and other weird and wonderful objects is endlessly fascinating. It's an amazing feeling to drive there with a car loaded down with junk and drive away with it light and empty. Turn it into cash. If your clutter is in the box labelled sell, you need to do some research. Is it really valuable or are you indulging in wishful thinking? Do some research online to find out if it really is valuable and who might want to buy it, for example, specialists or collectors. But give yourself a deadline because if you procrastinate, the item will hang around your home. And simply add to your clutter problem. If you haven't sold it in six months, give it away. Get rid of your clutter. It's easy when you get the hang of it. Giving is much nicer than receiving, whether you're giving it to the recycling centre, or to a neighbour, a charity shop, or even feeding the trash monster. Your reward, apart from smugness, is a tidy and spacious house that is easy to clean, which you are proud to invite people to. So remember my four-way system for disposing of your clutter. There really is no excuse now you know what to do. Inertia is the cause of most clutter. So what are you waiting for? Because life is what happens to you when you declutter. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear from you. Are there any topics you'd like me to cover in future ones? Why not share where you are in your decluttering journey by leaving a comment? I'd love it if you wanted to subscribe to my Clutter Expert channel. And if you do, remember to ring the notify bell so you'll be told whenever I add a new video. Thanks for watching.